do you want to make some spooky squishies? <laughs> Don't wait for tomorrow. Dr. Squish, welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're aware of where you are. You are here in my Squishy studio and it is Halloween time here in the Squishy studio. Everything's got a very spooky vibe. I mean, actually things kind of just look exactly the same as always, but I'm spooky and I'm ready for Halloween. <laughs> Let's do this. I am going to be making squishies today. That's good stuff. I will be making squishies uh, with my stuff alone. I figured out uh, last year that I could make squishies with this because it's the same way I've been making squishies for years now. It's just in a convenient toy size package for me. Uh, so I'm going to be making Halloween themed squishies. And I'm really pumped about it. Uh, I hope you're pumped. We got like spooky worms, <laughs> spooky eyeballs. Uh, it's gonna be some spooky, spectacular, spooktacular? I don't know how I'm supposed to do all the spooky holiday Halloween pu puns. My hair is also quite spooky. <laughs> but I'm excited and I'm ready to go make some squishies. So if you're ready for Halloween, then come with me. Okay, for our first squishy, we are doing an eyeball squishy. I'm just gonna use the clear balloons that come with the kit, the latex balloons that come with the stuff balloons. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that for all of them today. I got these eyeballs at the Dollar Tree. I don't really understand what they're for. They're like ping pong balls with eyeballs, but hey, I think they're gonna make a cool squishy. Maybe like a DNA ball squishy, so I'm just gonna put in, I don't know how many. That looks pretty good. They're looking back at me. I love glitter, but I don't want to put a lot. I think it'll ruin it. So just a sprinkle of red glitter and this Bath and Beauty liquid hand soap from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar for this big old bottle and I will never use it as hand soap because it smells terrible. I hate it, <laughs> but it's going to work great. I think making this orange goo. So let's get it off the machine and see what our uh, DNA eyeball ball looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put a clip on it after I let some of the air out. And we are gonna take a look. <gasps> you guys, oh my gosh. Actually, this turned out way better than I expected. I really didn't think that this was gonna turn out as cute as it did. Oh, they're all like clacking around on each other in there. This turned out so cute. I actually really love this. This turned out even better than I hoped, you guys. And that looks freaking awesome. I mean, this, uh, I don't know. It could have not turned out really well because these are just cheap, like Dollar Tree ping pong ball eyeballs. There's, I don't even understand the point in these and what they're for, but they're super fun in here. Oh my gosh. Like it's looking at you. Somebody's watching me. I ain't got no privacy. Oh, I mean, it's really fun. This one actually turned out really good. The soap makes it really squishy and, and it's clean. If it bursts on your carpet, it's super clean. If people ask me that all the time, they're like, do they burst? I'm like, and if it does, it's just soap, okay? That's so cool. Look, you guys, so many eyeballs. Okay, spooky squishy number one. It turned out super cute. Oh, they're all turned around, but that guy. <laughs> all right, who's ready? Who's ready for a uh, Halloween squishy round two? That actually feels really fun. I like it a lot. All right, but the second one, I wanna go a little grosser. You're like, eyeballs are pretty gross, Dr. Squish. I mean, I guess so, but what about worm? Worms, that flew at me. And what about bugs? That's even grosser to me. I don't know if I, I don't know. Eyeballs or bugs, it's a toss up. Okay, let's do this creepy worms and bugs squishy. I'm using the same clear balloon. Um, and I have these worms. Why do I have these? <laughs> I've used them before in <laughs> squishies a long time ago and I kept them. You never know when you're gonna need a bunch of rubber worms. <laughs> it's harder to get those in than I thought. And that's a big juicy guy right there. Let's make sure and get him down in there. And I also have a huge bin of creepy bugs and stuffs. So of course we need roaches. 
and uh, I don't know, is that a, a centipede, a millipede? What is the difference? Uh, legs, I guess. More roaches, more creepy crawlies, and uh, more roaches. So many roaches. And uh, I'm gonna top it off with a few more worms, just for squishiness. I thought this guy would be cool, but he, he will not fit in there, so we're gonna leave him out. I got more hand soap from the dollar store. Uh, this one is a very stinky lavender scent, but I thought it would be cool in the purple. Um, so hopefully the purple doesn't ruin it. I thought it would be, I don't know, orange and purple are like Halloween colors to me. So let's get it off the machine and to take a look at it and see how does it look. We are going to put another uh, clip on after I get some of the air out and see. I hope this one turns. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys, look at all the bugs in there. You can really see the bugs and the worms make it super squishy. I don't know about the purple though. That may have been a mistake. Maybe I should have done clear, but the rest of it looks really cool. Okay, second squishy turned out about as, as we expected, didn't it? I mean, ew, it's full of worms. It's full of roaches. It's full of bugs. I do think that some kind of weird coating on those worms made it cloudy, even though, I don't know, maybe I should have used clear gel or soap instead of the purple. I just thought that the purple would be cool, so it's kind of cloudy in there. Dirty, dirty worms, ew! Worms are, they do literally live in dirt. But it, the funny thing is, it's so soft, it's super squishy because those worms are super squishy, and I thought maybe these like, plasticky bugs would maybe pop the balloon, but they don't actually feel like they're really doing much to the balloon itself. So this one was actually really fun. It's super gross, but it's really squishy and squeezy and it's, it's definitely creepy. Creepy crawly squishy. I love it. All right, we got one more squishy to go. And for my last Halloween squish, squish, squishy, squish. We gotta do pumpkins. I've actually tried a fall squishy already. It was a massive fail. It could be again. I, d I don't know. Actually, I'm sitting here talking about this, but I don't even know if the pumpkins I got will fit in, the just a moment. I got these super cute glittery pumpkins. Will they even? Oh, you guys, this isn't gonna work even before I start. Scrap that. New idea! Okay, I'm back. Brand new idea. What if I put one of these squishies inside a squishy? And uh, he is a squishy pumpkin already. Oh, look at that. He's got a little tooth, a little tooth there. And he's very squishy. I can definitely get him down in there. And then what if I did him and like Orbeez uh, and clear gel? This is gonna be a cute squishy. This is a better idea already than what I had go, ooh, going on. Let's go make a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern Halloween spooktacular squishy! I'm ready. For my last squishy, we are going to be doing a jack-o'-lantern. It's going to be so cute. Uh, I can't believe those pumpkins I bought didn't work, but look how cute this guy is. He's so squashy, he's so happy to be going in a squ squishy. Uh, I can get him down in there. He's bigger than the whole tube, but since he squishes, let's do these beautiful orange Orbeez. I don't wanna like fill it up like I have before. Just a couple of orange and purple Orbeez are gonna look so cute. I hope, I think, I don't know, <laughs> maybe. So just a few of each and this uh, Dollar Tree sanitizer, hand sanitizer. It makes the perfect clear gel. And again, what is with the stinky smell of all this stuff from the Dollar Tree? I buy it, I don't use it. So it's going into the squishies. At least it's got a purpose. All right, let's get it off of here and put a clip on and uh, see what we are gonna get. <gasps> Look how cute he is, oh my gosh, you can really see his face in there. And even though the purple and orange Orbeez aren't super bright, they look kind of like Halloween confetti. I think it's adorable. It's just squishy and a squishy and it's so, so cute. Okay, so the last one was a success, I think. It's really cute. I thought that maybe those Orbeez would kind of obscure where you could see him, but it doesn't. It just kind of looks like confetti in there with him and it's just so cute. I don't know, his little face just makes the whole thing. So even though I was gonna do those glittery pumpkins, I'm glad it didn't work out because Mr. Jack-o'-lantern is stinking adorable. He is really, really cute. And it's like a double squishy because he's a squishy and a squishy. Squishyception. Time for your Halloween voting. 
Do you love a Mr. Squishy Jack-O-Lantern double squishy pumpkin with confetti dot Orbeez? Yes, you do. Do you love creepy crawly bugs and worms? I don't know. It's gotten really, it's gotten really cloudy and I, like, I see something settling in there, which is pretty unsettling. So I don't know. Do you like the creepy crawly worms or do you love my eyeballs? I like the eyeballs. I think personally, even though this one is super cute, I think the eyeballs is my favorite. It just turned out really cool. It really goes with my uh, Halloween theme that I did today. And I just think that this one was my favorite. It's watching you. All right, guys, I hope you had the best spooky Halloween time today on my show. I had so much fun uh, making these squishies and uh, there's like a bat sticking out of my hair here. And uh, I hope that you will join me on my next show, everyone. Toast to squishy Halloween. I love you guys. Leave me uh, some comments down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, squishy fans.